We're back again, one of my favorite spaces in Ottawa. It happens to be in my community, it happens to be related to the arts. We're here at the Ottawa Art Gallery, tied into the Arts Court Precinct. We're in the heart of our city, right off of Rideau Street. And I'm with uh, the Director of Communication here at uh, the Ottawa Art Gallery, Véronique. Bonjour. Bonjour. Thanks for welcoming us in the space. It is such an accessible space. You have a, a food premise, it's open, you can enter by so many different locations. How's it been? It's been now well over uh, two years. Yeah, we've uh, we've lived in this building for two years. It's been great. Uh, we were just uh, we're thrilled with the light. We're thrilled with the spaces, and um, and I guess we're here to talk about a new artwork that we've just installed. That's right. So we're here today uh, to talk about what's happening here at the Ottawa Art Gallery. Obviously, there continues to be new exhibit spaces and new artists. And this artist is, or this collection is around they. Tell us about, it, it's intriguing, it's, it takes a pretty prominent location here in the Ottawa Art Gallery. The material speaks to something, there's, there's, some, uh, there's some lighting as well. What are we going yeah. to discover today? Well, they is obviously a familiar word, and this is an artwork by artist Kara Tierney, who uses the pronoun they. Um, so um, for Kara, it's really part of a strong identity. So um, they is now being used by people that maybe don't necessarily want to identify as male or female. So it's a, it's a new pronoun or a new definition to the word they. It's even in the Webster Dictionary, actually. And it's a word, uh, we were talking about this uh, briefly, but it, as the Auto Art Gallery is an accessible space, it completes, in, in this exhibit, uh, the approach and, and the meaning of being accessible and being open. Yeah, like accessibility is much more than just making sure, I guess, you have a ramp to enter the building. It's for us, it's really to make sure that everyone feels welcome. So right now, or for the next two years, when you walk into the building, uh, you see this new pronoun and you know that everyone is welcome in the building. So this anchors the exhibit. Let's go and see what it's all about. Cool. Uh, well, here we are at uh, Spencerville Gallery and we're going to visit Facing Claude Cahar and Marcel Moore. I'm excited. Yeah. This, this space is amazing. The blue really makes everything live and breathe. Um, I see a lot of different arts, so there's a lot of various artists in this space now. Uh, tell us about it. Yeah, so in this show, Michelle Gewertz, uh, our senior curator, um, selected and invited both contemporary artists and historical artists uh, uh, that uh, kind of, I guess, explore their identities through self-portraiture, photography, video, um, even by uh, changing their appearance or working with, uh, in collaboration with other artists. And this here will be in the space until February, so people can come, it's free access. I know that's one of the uh, most uh, treasured element of the Ottawa Art Gallery, is that the space is accessible, it's free. What are the highlights in 2019? We've, uh, we've interacted a lot, I've come here often, uh, there's been a lot going on here. What's been the highlight for you in 2019? Yeah, I think we're still really thrilled with how uh, the Exo Ball went. It was the first time that we did this type of fundraiser, which was basically a huge art party. Recently, where, in November. Yeah, early November, and we had invited people to come to the gallery, uh, make a donation, be part of the, the festivities, and keep the gallery free uh, for the next year, and people really responded. We had hundreds of people come and celebrate. And then we're at the end of the year. Uh, is there anything happening in December? What should people expect here at the gallery in 2020? Uh, well, there's an interesting event. Two artists from this show you can come and meet. The public can come and meet uh, uh, Laura Taller and Kara Tierney. Uh, that's on December 7th. Uh, well, that's but coming up at the end of the week. It's coming up, and you have to book a spot because it, it is limited. It's free, but you have to book online. Um, and then we have Molly Lambovac, a painter in the Firestone Gallery. Uh, she painted uh, uh, the crowds kind of live. It's really kind of, you know, she probably would have had an Instagram account had she been an artist today. Uh, and so she was really able to capture kind of the city in a movement in paintings. Uh, and then in Abuin on the first, first floor uh, with a, a contemporary uh, artist, uh, contemporary indigenous artist, excuse me, uh, curated by Daniel Printup. Printup. So that will be coming up in 2020. If people, you're, you live and breathe this all day, so you know those dates, you know what's coming up. Yeah. If people want more information, where, where should they go? Yeah, because the show I mentioned, they all end uh, early in the new year, so make sure to check our exhibition page on the website. 
uh, or uh, go to our calendar for specific events and links on how to sign up. And that's ottawaartgallery.ca? Yeah, thank you. Merci.